chapter 8, Mishnah 7. The law that an Ailonis is not considered to have been married to her husband can lead to yet another situation in which a co-wife who thought she was free to remarry becomes the subject to all these penalties. If someone married a Yavama, brother's widow, to fulfill the mitzvah of Yibam, and her co-wife, thinking she was now free to marry out of the family, went and married someone else, but it was later found that this wife who had performed Yibam was an Ailonis, who was therefore never really married to the brother who died, the law is as follows. She, the co-wife who remarried, must leave both this one and that one. That is, she must get divorced from her second husband and may not marry her first husband's brother in Yibam. And all these ways, i.e. penalties, stated in Mishnah 5 apply to her as well, because before getting remarried without Chalitza, she should have made sure that the other wife was not an Elonis.